Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to share you some things that I have been um, tying into uh, all of the, just the ever improving day by day. <laughs> so I'm gonna be showing you my journal. Um, journal slash planner actually. Um, I don't even know where I got this idea from, but I stopped um, having this huge urge to make uh, a giant vision board posters. Um, first, just for um, aesthetic. Secondly, for privacy. And thirdly, uh, putting it somewhere that's a little just uh, that just makes more sense. And so um, my planner, which is something that I use right regularly, I decided to. Uh oh. Move these. Oh, I decided to put um, my vision or just a few vision board pages in the front. So, for example, this is one about um, my financial goals and just abundance, green, money, opportunity, ideas, business. Um, I put a lot of keywords. I put a stack of money, a roll of money, um, the flow. I have some pictures of waterfalls and just all that um another one that i have is just like all about me just keeping the energy um soft and girly and i have like rewriting her future and i am affirmations and like um 30 which was a big number for you for me when i hit 30 and being you know three years in it's, it's still just a number that resonates with me and just pretty things um this made more sense because as you can see, this is my office slash guest bedroom. So right behind me, I have a pullout queen size sofa. And um, when my guests come, you know, they don't need to be all up in, you know, that. <laughs> what I'm manifesting, what I'm working on, and what I'm trying to, des you know, what I truly desire. <laughs> um, and, you know, my fiance is just like, no, it's personal. And it's, and it's, and it's something that I really love more so in my my um planner because it keeps me focused when i flip it open um i'm just reminded of you know that creativity and um all my whys and things like that the second thing that um i wanted to share because we're right here at that new year's resolution time and setting new goals and blah 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 and even though i wouldn't suggest launching in the dead of winter really tr uh, really truly using that spring energy to you know launch your ideas your businesses and starting things when the weather's warming up when everything is in is about to bloom and grow and you know all of that you're going to feel so good about it um is using a um uh, planner that is undated now i'm locked into this one i don't want to waste it and throw it away um i picked this up from target but had i done some more research i would have i would have preferred let me show you an example so let's say I flip to December. So this is the full calendar view. It's kind of light. The light's kind of bad. So the full calendar of December, they give you a section for notes. And then um, each each week, they give you a this week, the Monday through Sunday. And then like to do this week's goals, to call, to email, to buy cute little bubbles, to check everything off, and then et cetera down here at the bottom. So let's say you don't have a busy week. Let's say, you know, there's literally nothing that you need to do. You know, God bless you. Good for you, you know. Um, but you've almost wasted that week, this, the paper, the, the page. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, all that glitter, purple. Um, <laughs> because you're locked in through, because this is the 28th, Monday the 28th through the 4th, Sunday. So what I wanted to do was redate these with little stickers. And then let's say I don't need to do anything in December. I switch this out, maybe just like reprint a tag. Hi, baby. I reprint um, a tag that says January. So that's something that I Wait, would. Can I say something? No, because this is important. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> that's something that I would. You don't need to close the door. Thank you, though. You can leave it open. Thank you. I need brother to hear y'all. So that is something that... Um, I lost my train of thought. That is something that I feel like is a little bit more practical. 
and you know you could also use your journal what i have started doing was let me give you an example so monday the 28th you don't need to write anything to do that you need to forget that you might forget whatever whatever but something could happen um something you know opportunity a friend called whatever you're thankful for whatever good luck came your way whatever um epiphanies you had you can use your journal to it may not be you may not need to go to a journal like a whole diary entry about that day but going back through your planner and seeing that like oh you know they gave you some money or you know like i said a friend called and made you feel so good it was so good to catch up or you know you found some money or you got a great idea or whatever it's 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 cute to look back just a little bullet about what happened on that particular day during that month um so those are just some tips about uh how you can use your your planner as a vision board slash journal um even if you're not in college even if you're not you know uh, a super paper planner person and even if you're not uh, you have all these things that you have to keep track with it just helps it kind of keep it all together and you know even planning your self-care dates even planning your um you know your manicures your pedicures so you don't have like a three four week lapse where now you gotta take the nails off and start all over or go without the nails um or you know things get a little little whatever whatever because you're not keeping track um of it and planning it strategically if it doesn't come second nature to you i feel like a lot of women have to really be intentional about starting new habits and making them a priority so it's e so easy to just breeze over these things and start hard go hard but then slack off so for me my nails are second nature i i you don't have to remind me i i look at them and i i i think about them every day so that's not a pain point for me what would be a pain point for me would be uh i don't know scheduling scheduling oh say um Oh, my yoga sessions. Let's say you pay for membership and you're like, they, you can come so many times a week. Well, if I don't write it down and say, I'm going to go this day, this day, and this day, I will forget. And uh, the membership just goes out the window. Uh, taking my vitamins, um, uh, balancing out my meals, all these things, you know, are things that I have to write down that don't come second nature to me. Um, because I can just drink coffee and be chilling and then i'm like oh i'm shaky why am i shaky so um planning out my meals my healthy meals and things like that it all goes in my planner not my notes in my phone not um my journal in my planner so i wanted to share that with you all and really tap into um looking into the cycles of the moon the cycles of the seasons and when the when is the best time to do things make decisions um uh start or rest rest is really big i think a lot of times with the improving yourself and self-care self-love it's doing 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 when a lot of times some of us need to slow down and go within and rest and and give ourselves permission to rest give ourselves permission to be creative and to um, slow down and to say no and to cancel and stay in for the weekend that was our last weekend for example we we did the whole thanksgiving rush and we've done some fun activities but last weekend um which was the was it the first weekend of december i can't remember now but it felt so good to not have anything to do not have anywhere to go not even want to go anywhere but just decorate craft relax watch a movie sleep in cook at home that was just such a reset monday the girls got up so easy i felt like i could just conquer the world um and it really just started the week off strong even though it was rainy and even colder it's getting colder and colder and colder but that is an example of you know planning and being intentional about either way you go, it's good to write it down if you're not used to doing something, you know, new. So 
that's just a little tip for you to to think about it because um some people you have to find what works for you and what you need what your family needs so again you know it's not going to be the same answer for everyone but you know again where are you um writing literally writing your future planning your future being intentional about your future creating your life and you know um training retraining your mind um to give yourself a new experience and a new reality um even if it's down to okay um tonight is bubble bath, bubble bath night i was talking to my sister and she was like, you know i don't take a lot of baths and i'm like really oh my gosh girl they feel so good they're so relaxing you just you unwind the candles the bathroom all and she's like yeah i just never you know if if that was something that I wasn't used to doing and that was a need of mine, it may not be a need for, I'm just using my sister's example because that was something that came up. I would be like, oh my God, you know, I'm on my feet a lot. I'm go, go, go a lot. Um, in the winter, your skin is drier. It, it needs more of that nourishment and that, you know, all of that, that, you know, your your bones being cold and all of that. So if I had a commute and I was out in these streets, Every Friday, you know, of course you shower every day, um, but every Friday would be, you know, like my soak time. Like I would set the whole, like it'd be a whole thing. After midnight, the girls are asleep, babes sleep. I can, you know, do the whole thing, not be rushed to get out. I can get pruning, the water, I can just do whatever, you know what I mean? And then switch it up, like, you know, this time I'm going to do this, that time I'm going to do this. I'm going to read in my bath. I'm going to listen to music or listen to a podcast or listen to an audio book or I'm going to just meditate or I'm going to try this oil or this bath bomb or this um, salt mixture or this time I'm going to do a, a, a body scrub. This time I'm going to, you know, you can't do it all in one session. I'm going to shave and I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to, uh, you, you know what I mean? That gets a little, but just writing down what you're looking forward to and trying new things you know trying new oils trying new scents trying new candles really just gets you closer to like what you love and what you don't like and or you might find that you know it's not for you is it massages is it um uh, having your little goodies and snacks in bed, really being like, okay, you know, if you're eating healthy all throughout the week, you know, Saturday night, it's wine and chocolate in bed night. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, is your thing, you use your planner as the like, oh, this is this is on the book. So I'm, I'm not available or I'm going to clear my schedule, I'll move some things around, whatever, whatever, because... I am writing myself back into my life, back into my story and prioritizing my needs and wants because it's not about running yourself ragged and checking off all the to-do boxes. And that's, I will say this, I have gotten a couple of um, uh, self-care journals and they have prompts about, you know, keeping track of screen time keeping track of your water intake, keeping track of your hobbies, keeping track of reading time, keeping track of all these things, but it's separate from life. So if you're if you're not a paper book journaling person that just loves all that, it's going to be hard for you to keep up with yet another thing to help you do the thing. So if you get into the habit of to do, put those things down, drink more water, take my vitamins, in addition to setting your alarms and your reminders in your phone, you know, you'll be able to look back and be like, wow, look at how much I've checked off. Look how much, look at uh, uh, October, November, September, all the months prior that I've been working on building the things that I need to do that make me feel good, that make me feel better, that help me take care of myself, blah, 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 blah. So don't just think of a planner as, you know, that's for uh <laughs> funny daddy women that have a million things to do that you know um just you know can't remember it all and then so they need this this bible of life you know what i mean it's not like that it can your planner can really be a tool that you create you know what you want it to be to help you be your best self if you need to put on there go shopping for new clothes or go shopping for that one statement piece. Go pick up that layaway piece that is going to just make me feel like a million bucks. Whatever. 
if it's about you, it needs to be a priority and it needs to be in your planner and it needs to be number one. Okay, so those are my tips for uh, wrapping up 2022 and rolling into 2023 with you as the main character, as you as the priority and you as the center of your world. Um, good luck to you and um, until the next one. Peace. Bye.